Hi guys, EBP Man with TabletsForMe.com, and today I'm going to show you how to update manually your Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, in this case, this is my wife's um, Samsung Galaxy S2 from Sprint. Now, it was just announced that uh, starting uh, July 12th, everyone would be getting this, uh, and actually it's going to be spread out through uh, the next couple days. So for those of you who are impatient and would like to get access to Ice Cream Sandwich now, there is a way how to um, install it manually. And I'm going to show you how to so do before that. Before installing the update, a couple things that I'll mention. At least this was my experience. Uh, the neat thing about the update, because it is an official update, even though it's a manual update, uh, since it's an official update from Sprint, all your icons, all your settings, everything will be remain intact. So as you can see here, I'll just show you. This is my wife's screen. Uh, these are the icons that she has and how she has everything set up and her calendar settings. None of these things are going to go away. Her emails are going to be retained. Her text messages are going to be retained. Everything will be retained uh, with all her passwords because it's an official update. Now, I will warn you that uh, you can't screw this up. So I wouldn't recommend this for someone who doesn't feel confident or isn't really uh, that technically inclined. Uh, it is very easy to do, and this is my third phone that I've updated. But once again, uh, if you have doubts and you'd rather wait, just wait. If you'd like to update it, I'll put in the YouTube channel the link where you can download the official update and I'll show you how you actually install right, So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to download the software. Now I've done this for the sake of this video, but what you would do, so you can see what the experience is, is you'll tap on the, on the link that will be on the website, and you could do this without any PC. Uh, what will start happening is you'll start getting a download, and you'll see this download will start coming down, and you'll notice that it has an ff18.zip. Now once this download is complete, what we'll do is, um, using the, the actual software in the phone, we'll move the file to a specific directory and we'll rename it. So we're going to let this download, and once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead, uh, rename it, and we're going to move it. So the download is complete, and now let me show you where you would find it. If you go into Applications and you go into Downloads, you'll notice this is the download that we just completed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the file manager that comes with the actual uh, phone software to rename the actual file and call it update and then we're going to move it to the SD card. Right now it's on the onboard memory of the phone and we need to move it to the SD card because this is an SD manual update. So yes, you need an SD card and you need to have enough space. Notice that this is a 208 meg file. It's a pretty big file. So we're going to rename it from this long name to update.zip and then we're going to move it to the SD card. So let's see how that's done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, Applications. We're going to choose My Files. And then once you go into My Files, and let me, uh, let me go up in one spot, this is what you're going to see. And when it says SD card, you're not really in your SD card, but you're in the SD card that's been allocated on the memory of the physical phone. The external SD card, which is what you purchased and you've connected to your phone, that little uh, micro SD, is what external SD is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into download, and once you go into download, you'll notice here that we have that file that we um, just received or downloaded. You're going to rename it, and you're going to, again, rename it to update. So you do update, and once you do update, you said OK. Now you'll notice that it now is called update.zip. What you do is you'll press and hold on it. And what you're going to do is do a copy. I do a copy, not a move, because if you do a move and you screw up, um, you, you may um, just damage the file. So what I'm going to do is go here, and I'm going to do a copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the external SD, tap external SD, and once I go into this directory, I'll let it uh, catch up. All right, there it went. So, uh, oops, I went, went far too far. All right, I'm now an external SD. If you can see that right there, I tapped it too many times, external SD, I would choose paste here. Now, to speed this up, I already did it. So it's, um, it's right on my root um, of the directory of the phone, so it's, it's already in this directory. We'll just cancel that out. So once again, uh, you'll notice that it says SD, external SD. Notice where I have my update zip. So now the next step is to restart the phone and go into um, actually the, the, the boot um, operating system of the Android phone where you could actually do the actual setup. Now, notice also that my battery level is at 82%, so you want to make sure that you have well above 50% uh, before you do this update because this is going to take some power. So now that it's in my SD card and it's called update.zip, we're going to turn off the phone. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So you're going to let it shut down. Uh, it has to be completely shut down. So these little icons here should go, um, should, should basically turn off. If this is still that you don't want to do anything until it goes fully black, that will mean that the phone is fully powered down. So we'll wait until that happens. And then once that happens, we'll go into the next step. All right. So the next step is you're going to press your up arrow button and your power button at the same time until you see the Samsung logo. So let's do that. Okay, now that's the Samsung logo. Now what you are gonna do is, it's gonna go into this boot menu, and don't worry, you haven't broken anything yet. And let's see if we can get a close up right here, but you'll notice that one of them says, the second item says, apply update uh, from SD card. So you're gonna go down one, like this, and then what you're gonna do is use the home button. That's like your enter key. So you can tap it once. And what you'll do is you'll want to go down uh, just one arrow because it's the first file that pops up. I hope you guys can see that update.zip. Again, because we put it at the root of the SD card, and that was one thing that I failed to mention when you were doing the copy. I always put it at the root, and I did that so it's easy. So I don't have to go into any of these subdirectories. And you notice all the subdirectories are listed, but by putting in the root, it's the first thing that you find. Now that you've, again, using your arrow key, you've gone down to the update.zip, you press the home button to enter. You'll see this, don't worry, don't freak out, this isn't anything bad. What this is gonna start now is unpacking the file and start your update. So what we're gonna do is, this is gonna take a couple minutes, uh, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to keep the recording going until we actually see the progress bar where it tells us that it's updating. We're going to pause the video and then we'll come back in a second. So let's let it run just for a second. Just be patient with the, uh, with the silence for a little bit until we actually see the progress bar so you can see what happens once it starts updating. So I just wanted to show you where we are from a progress um, as, as we progress through the update. Just to give you a sense, it's been at least three minutes since uh, the update started. So again, uh, make sure you have enough power. Do not power down the phone. And just, um, I actually have it here on the countertop, um, but just raising it so that you can see where we are. And again, don't be afraid. Just let it keep on going. And once it's finished, we'll come back and show you what the next screen is. All right, so you'll see the progress bar hit 100% and it's still going to take a second so we'll see what happens next right, so the progress bar went past 100 or, or hit 100 and you'll notice now the phone is rebooting good sign now what will happen is uh, once Android starts up it's going to update all of the apps that you have so uh, my other phone had like 160 apps so it had to go through and optimize each one of the apps before it actually started up so you'll see we have the standard Sprint startup screen followed by uh, the Android screen which will come up and then it will start um, updating the apps. So let's see how that looks. All right. So my wife has very few apps and you'll see how it's optimizing the apps and it's basically saying op optimizing 16 of um, actually of, <laughs> of 91 apps. So she has uh, quite a bit installed on this phone. So it's going to go through each one of these apps. It's going to upgrade them and optimize them, as you can see, during this process. And once it's complete, we should be able to hit the login page. Again, this, this process, in my experience, takes uh, no more than two minutes. Uh, again, uh, it took around two minutes for mine, and I had a 167 apps installed on my phone. In this case, she has 91, and you'll notice that we're already into 53 of 91. So it's a pretty fast process. Uh, the hard or the heavy lifting was actually the installing uh, that we went through earlier. That took several minutes. And this piece, you'll notice how fast it's going. All right, so it's almost done. Uh, let's see what happens once it's completed with optimizing all the apps. It's for 89, 91. I, I did feel the phone vibrate, you know, just a little vibration as it's starting up. Don't freak out if it pauses a little bit, because you may. And now it booted. Now if we swipe to unlock, notice how it's installing uh, the bloatware from Sprint. You, you don't get out of that. Uh, since this isn't a custom ROM, 
This is the standard Sprint ROM. It's going to install the applications that Sprint installs. And then when we get them back, you'll notice that the icons for the applications that my wife had are still in the same place. You'll notice that the email number is still the same, or maybe it's increased because she's gotten some emails. But she hasn't lost anything. All her messaging is going to be the same, and we'll wait for, for the widget to come up that she has on this screen in a second. And then we'll go ahead and swipe so you can see some of the changes. The other thing that you'll notice is, uh, just to prove that we haven't lost any of the settings, uh, this one is connected to my Wi-Fi at home, and the Wi-Fi, notice how it's connected. Um, our widget is back, and if we go to the left, or in this case to the right, you'll notice the icons that were there are still there. Her calendar entries are still there. Um, everything was updated. And you can tell that you are now in uh, the new version of Android uh, because of how the menu here looks. And when you go into the actual settings area, you're going to actually have now all the new settings uh, that come with Ice Cream Sandwich. And if we go into About Phone, as we go down to Build Information, uh, we'll be able to see... Well, it's connecting to my Wi-Fi again. We'll be able to see that we are um, actually on Android 4.04. Now, once you do this update, uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, it's going to need to update a lot of your apps because there's newer versions of the app for Ice Cream Sandwich. So just go into your Play Store, and once you go into the Play Store, uh, go ahead and look at uh, your apps. And what will happen is it will show you which apps need to be installed. Depending on which ones you have installed, you may have to update some or many. And if you notice, uh, we have uh, nine apps that we have to update. So once again, very easy to update the phone. Um, do this at your own risk. It is very easy to do for those of you who are technical. Uh, this is now, as I said, my third phone that I've done, and all of them work uh, perfectly, and it's uh, so far a pretty good experience. I uh, hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any comments or questions, uh, leave it on the YouTube channel.